So, Sean, thank you very much for being here with us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. We, we are the very heart of the Elfest Festival. Yep. It's a great edition. And so, um, first of all, I would like to know uh, what is your musical background? When did you start uh, playing drums? Oh, my God. Uh, um, oh. I, st <laughs> I started playing uh, when I was 13, so uh, I'm 46 now, so it's yeah, it's been a long time, over 30 years, uh, yeah. 30, 33 years or so, and uh, yeah, it's been playing ever since, of course. Yeah, what, what brought you, especially maybe a band or... or yeah, what, yeah, what made me want to play music. I, I listened to music when I was very, very young, listening to Kiss and Queen and all the bands yeah. of the 70s when I was growing up, but... Uh, Honestly, the band that wanted me to become a musician was Rush. My brother brought home a record called the All the World's a Stage, which is a live record in 1976 yeah. or seven. <laughs> okay. And uh, immediately I said, well, I, I couldn't believe how amazing the, the drumming, all the musicians were are in Rush, but uh, the drums in particular, I said, you know, that, that's what I would like to be as a, as a musician, be a drummer. So that, that I remember it exactly at that moment, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you meet the, the musician? Of course, your, your brother. Uh, there's a special my, my, relation. Yeah, I mean, I my everybody, in, in my, all the males in my family uh, were musicians. My father was yeah. a guitar player. My uh, my older brother was a guitar player who taught my younger brother Glenn how to play. I play guitar as well, but like I said, I I just gravitated towards drums once I heard Rush. I mean. Um, But I'd always played in bands with my brother Glenn growing up. You know, we did little high school bands, and you know, of course, we went on both to become in Megadeth and, and uh, yeah. in 2004. And he was in the band for three years. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically how you know we started playing music was was playing together and just you know playing cover tunes when you're a kid. You know, you play Deep Purple and Black yeah. Sabbath, things yeah. that you could play when you're young, and you eventually learn you know yeah. the original material. And, and that's basically how it started. Okay, so to have a few words about uh, the, the the drums, you, you you play Sabian symbols, yes, Promark uh, sticks, uh, yes, and uh, Evans uh, drum heads. Evans drum heads, yeah. Um, what led you to this choice for, for these brands, especially the the sound? I don't know or what. Uh, well, you, well, again, when you're when you're young, you 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 try different things. You know, with drumsticks. I've tried. You know, at the time, probably every drumstick company that you know, you try sticks and you like some of them, some you didn't like. Promark. I mean, there's certain companies that I'd use over the years, Vic Firth, Promark, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're all very, they're high quality, great drumsticks. It's just to me, it's just a matter of, of personal choice. What feels good and what feel, you know, feeling, or what yeah. sounds good. With the, you know, with Sabian, for example, I've been playing Sabian for many, many years. I tried the other companies as well, and and to be honest, for me, I, I didn't like, I didn't think the quality or the or the durability of the cymbals were as good as Sabian's. And and for me, I use the hand hammer, the HH series uh, yeah. with Sabian, and I've never. In the eight years I've been with Megadeth, I've never cracked a cymbal, never broke a cymbal. And it's, it's, we've played hundreds and hundreds yeah. of shows, so that the durability of a cymbal on tour is very important. Same with drumsticks. If you break a drumstick every show, three or four drumsticks, yes, of course. it's not oh, good. Well, no, of For course. me, I barely yes. ever break the Promark drumsticks. Never. Maybe, God, I can't even, maybe one or two. And like, <laughs> yeah. I barely break Amazing. it. And that, that's so that, yeah. you know, it's yeah. so important to have durability in, in your equipment. You know, it has to be able to stand it on the road. And, and everything that I use is. Well, is uh, and a special emotion and feeling with, uh, with these materials, the yeah. sticks, the symbols. Yeah, same, yeah. With the, same with the drum heads, with, with the Evans drum heads. I, I've, never, I've never went through a drum head or broke it or nothing like that. They're very, the product is amazing and it's very durable. That's two very important qualities for, for me to have. Because if things break all the time, then you're like, oh, God, and you're not thinking about your gig because something's broken. Yeah, you know what I mean? You feel safe. Yeah. yeah. I know when I go up there, I don't have to worry. Oh, is my stick going to break or am I going to, yeah. you know, is my cymbal going to crack tonight? I don't even worry about yes. it because I know it's, it's, it's for me, it's the best stuff there is. So. Yes, you just have very to think about music. I, all I have to go is think just about music. music. Not, that's what you should yeah. do as a musician. Yes, nice. okay. Uh, could you uh, tell us what are your plans in the mid or, or, or long term? Uh, just our plans. I mean, plans. We're, we we record and we tour. We put out records and we tour. That's what we do. I mean, we're in the middle of a, a world tour right now for our record called 13. It's our 13th yeah. record for Megadeth. And, uh, you know, the record came out uh, last uh, Halloween. And uh, we've been touring for the most part since then. So, you know, we're in the middle. We just did one month in America with Rob Zombie. Went home for two days and came right over here to Europe. So we, we tour a lot. You know, we really yeah. support our record. And... Uh, And our fans love to see us, so it's, it's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Just to, to conclude, I know you have few times. <laughs> This is a great festival. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, do you have few words to say to the Alphas community here? To the, because this is a very important festival of in France and in Europe. I mean, I've, I've, I've been here before. Of course, Alphas is something that's uh, 
It's a very well organized festival. They have. We, here's what I really like about Hellfest is they have different kinds of bands. It's not just metal, metal, metal yeah. all the time. But they have Leonard Skinner That's playing. Right. You know what yes. I mean? Molly Hatchet. Uh, it's it's incredible that you know real fun. yeah and then yeah. you have really extreme bands like Cannibal Corpse and Obituary it's like not a lot of festivals can can have so many different diverse bands on the same festival so that to me is very cool because I like all kinds of different music I don't I don't just like metal I like brutal metal yeah but I also like you know 70s rock and different things yeah. so for me it's cool I'm gonna, as soon as we're done here I'm gonna go watch Leonard Skinner on stage yeah yeah so that that to me is a really cool thing that we can all coexist on the same festival so that's uh, <laughs> thank you very thank much thank you very much for I appreciate it. Man. Yes, thank you, and so we right wish on. you the best for uh, the rest of the year and all the story you have later on. So thank, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, appreciate it.